I'm Lisa. I'm one of the new and free librarians. And today I'm going to show you guys how to make a pie craft. So here is our pie. And there's a few items that you're going to need to collect. So you're going to need a paper plate. If you don't have a paper plate, you can just cut a circle out of white paper. So that's fine. You will need some yellow construction paper and some brown construction paper as well. And then you're going to need red tissue paper. If you don't have a tissue paper, that's okay. And you can use red construction paper instead. You could also sub in blue or purple um, as well, or even orange if you um, have those colors instead. And then the last thing that you will need is you're going to need scissors and you're going to need um, a glue stick as well. So you wanna gather those materials and then come on back and I'll show you how to make our pie craft. So the first thing that we need to do is get our circle. So if you have your paper plate, then you don't have to worry about cutting anything out. If you do not have a paper plate, then you do want to get a piece of um, white paper and draw a circle on there. You might need a grown up to help you with the circle, or you might be able to trace like the bottom of a bowl or something and make your circle. So you're going to cut out and it's okay if it's not perfect, you're going to cut out your circle shape. Then we're gonna start actually with the outside edges. So we're gonna start with the brown paper. And what you wanna do with your brown piece of paper is you wanna cut it into rectangle shapes. So I went through with my large piece and I just trimmed down until I had some rectangles. And it's about the size of like your pinky is a good size that you could use to measure. I'm gonna take my glue stick and I'm gonna go around the edge first of my pie plate. I'm not gonna do the, all the glue because the glue will dry, so I'm just doing a little section at a time. I put some glue down on it, and now I'm putting my rectangle. And I always like to hold it down for the count of three. So one, two, three to make sure it really stays on there. One, two, three, and I'm gonna go all the way around my pie. You also can do the shape test to make sure that it stays on there for you. So I'm gonna finish going all the way around my pie plate. I'm gonna do my next section, a little bit more glue, and then grab my brown rectangles, and I'm adding them on there. And some of my rectangles are fatter, some of them are skinnier, and that's okay. Whatever size you did will work. And you can leave a little bit of space. It doesn't have to be perfect between them. I'm gonna show you one thing that you can do, and this is just a choice, you don't have to, but you might wanna curl the end. And you can do that just by curling up that little bit. And then now my pie crust is kind of angled and curled in. So you might want your pie crust to curl a little bit. You could also put it around one of your fingers and do it that way, and then when you let go, it'll be curled up. Up to you if you want flat crust or if you want it to be curved. So I'm making around my next, my fourth one. Still holding down for four. One, two, three, make sure it stays. Two, three, let me grab a few more. And I'm onto my last section now of glue. So I'm gonna add my glue on. And then continue with my crust. And I have just a few left. And one last one. So now that I have all my crust on, I'm gonna shake it and make sure it stays on there. So my pie crust is on there pretty well. Now you're gonna need your tissue paper um, or your construction paper, like I said, either one could work. So whichever you have nearby. And like I said, um, with the materials that we need, you can also flip it out for different ones. So if you want blue or you have blue instead, or you want purple, you have those options. So what you're going to do with the red paper, is yeah, I'm flipping mine up, is you're just going to cut down a strip. And my paper's folded, so I'm actually cutting two layers at once. 
You may need a grown up to help you cut through it. So you might want to find your safe adult and they can help you with that. And then now I'm just going to take my long strip of red tissue paper and I'm going to cut into squares. They don't have to be a certain size. And I'm going to continue cutting until my whole strip is used up of the tissue paper cut now into squares to use. I'm going to go back to my glue stick and I have the whole middle area that is empty. So we're going to fill this in with the red. So again, I'm going to glue, put a glue on a good section and I'm going to take my red paper and I like to crumple it because a lot of times if you're doing like a cherry pie, you can sort of see some of the bumps from the cherries that are there. It's not all perfectly smooth. Um, you could though, if you'd rather have it be smooth, you could just do it flat. So you get two choices. I'm kind of crumbling, but you could also do a flat one if you'd prefer to do a flat one. So I'm gonna continue. All the way through. I'm gonna pause my video here and speed it up a bit so that you guys can see what it will look like when I have all of my red filled in on the inside. All right, so you should have finished your center of your pie. If it was red or whatever other color um, you ended up choosing. And now we're gonna need the yellow paper. So with the yellow paper, you're going to want to cut into skinny strips that are going to be the top part of our pie. So I'm doing, it's probably less than an inch. And then I'm cutting this piece in half. And to do that, I'm just going to fold it in half like this. And I'm going to take my scissors and cut right on my fold. You want the yellow to be long enough, and you could do it skinnier than this if you wanted, but you want the yellow to be long enough to cross the pie, but not go off the edge. So I'm gonna take my strips that go over the cup, they're gonna be the top of our pie. I'm gonna put glue right on them. And I'm gonna do three strips first. So I'm gonna do three strips going the same direction first. And this goes right on top of your red, or if you did a different color, whatever the other color was that you did. So I'm gonna do my last strip and then I'll hold it up so you guys can see that I have three going in the same direction. So here are my one, two, three in the same direction. Now we're gonna do three going the other way on top of it. So I'm gonna get more glue on my strip and now this is going on top of the other yellow strips. This one goes on top again, three more. So I'm spacing them apart. And this is my last piece of my pie. Add a little bit more glue, so it will pass my shake test. See if it stays. This is how you make your own favorite plate. <laughs>